Welcome to the testing word. Till previous session, we have gone through all the Ruby videos and now I assume we have good knowledge of Ruby programming language. Now onwards, we are going to start our automation. For that, for first I'm going to set up Ruby mine. So what is Ruby mine? So Ruby mine is an editor where we can write Ruby code. We can execute that. We can debug it. And this will be very easy to perform because it's a user friendly tool. So previously, whatever the code we have done, we are doing on the Notepad++. Why we have covered on the Notepad++? Because on Notepad++, we are not getting any advantage. Like we are not getting any IntelliSense. That was not user friendly. We are not able to debug. I have done that code over there just to understand like everything we are writing will get the understanding of the all the syntax. But once we are comfortable on all the syntax, now we can use any editor. It could be Notepad++, it could be RubyMine or it could be Eclipse. Now onwards, I'm going to write all the code by using the software RubyMine. But if you want, you can do same code either on the Eclipse or maybe on Notepad++ or you can use this RubyMine. RubyMine is not a free software. It's a paid software, but we are getting this for the 30 days trial. So I'm going to use 30 days trial for the software. What's the advantage of the having RubyMind? So it's a smart editor for the Ruby programming. Smart editor means we are going to get a lot of GUI options. We are going to get menus, toolbars. So we just perform the task on a single click. And it's a very user friendly for most of the tasks. It's just a click we need to perform. Like if you want to create a Ruby project, you just need to go for some clicks. IntelliSense, that is one of the most important factor. Whenever we are going for any automation or maybe any development, so we need a lot of help. I give you an example. When you're writing any keyword, like I'm writing a keyword print. So I just type P and it will give me suggestions. Either you can go for the puts or print and many other keywords. So it will be easy for us to do the coding by using this IntelliSense. It's going to help us by showing a list of the keywords or I'll say the list of the suggestions which we can use while programming. And the next is debugging. So whenever we are going for the automation, sometimes my automation is getting failed. And I just want to check why it's getting failed. For that, we have to go for debugging and that's the software which is giving debugging option. So here in the session, I'll show you how we can set up Ruby mine. For that, first of all, we need to go to a website with the name jetbrains.com and here we have the option of the download. If you go to the download option, either you can use this URL or you can go to the Google. I'm just showing you again, download Ruby mine. So we are going to this website and here we can check it's a Ruby mine software. And it's a 212 MB software. We just need to click on this. It's going to download. As I told you, it's we are going to get for 30 days trial. So if you want, if you want for the longer period of time, either you can purchase this or you can set up Eclipse and then install the Ruby plugin, which we have shown in the previous session. So here it is going to take some time to download the software. I'm just pausing the recording and I'll start after that. So once it is downloaded, just click on this. I'm just starting the installer. And it's a very straightforward process. So next. And next. I'm just keeping everything same. And my machine is 64 bit. So I'm using 64 bit. It will take some time to install this software. So in between, I'm pausing the recording. Once installation is done, now I want to start RubyMine. So I just check this, click on finish. So now RubyMine is installed successfully on my machine. And as it's for trial of 30 days, it shows like you want to import anything. I don't want to go for that. It's a fresh installation that I've done. So accept license and option select evaluate for free and tell me about 
evaluation is for the 30 days I'm just clicking on the evaluate and accept so everything is perfect I have installed so here skip and set defaults I'm not going for any specific setting so I'm just going for skip and set up default option so now ruby mine is installed successfully on my machine and it shows that's the expiration date for me as of now i'm just creating a new project yes i want to create a new project and that's an empty project as of now and what's the name and the location of the project so my pro project location name would be i'm saying automation and which ruby you are using so it shows i'm using ruby 2.0 that i can change so just create it and everything is set now so here our project is created and now we are ready to write ruby programming so that's all we have for this session here we have seen how we can set up ruby mine so next session onwards we'll start working on the automation that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hi friends hope you are enjoying this video if you have any question regarding this video you can ask your question in the comment section also i would request you to please subscribe our channel you can subscribe it by click on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis also we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price we have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning